Hi there. As a psychologist, we are often helping people to move towards their goals. And one of the most painful parts of helping someone is when you can see the progress that they're making, but they can't. And so if you're working on a goal, I just wanted you to see that this is usually how the progress will go. Uh, you start off and you're usually stuck right here and you start doing therapy and you start feeling significantly better just by having made the decision to do therapy and talking to someone about your problems. And then you might plateau just a little bit and feel like, eh, I guess I got all I could out of that. And then you notice that you're doing deeper work in treatment. And the deeper work can come at a cost initially, which is that you might start feeling a little bit worse. And then from there, you usually project upwards and have a really nice trajectory of feeling better where the pain that you've been processing opens you up to start moving uh, forward more rapidly and perhaps even having insights that you didn't anticipate you would and making changes in your life that you also didn't anticipate. And then right about here, the people in your life who are used to you working in a very particular way notice that you're changing. And when we're part of a system, the system likes to stay in homeostasis. They like to keep things as they are. Even people who are in our corner can sometimes unconsciously make it difficult for us to make change or be different. And so we might notice that we've been going up, we've been going up, and then we start getting some pushback from friends or family or from significant others. And we notice ourselves feeling down again. And so it's important to recognize that, my arm's getting tired here, I'm gonna rest it. And it's important to recognize that just because we're feeling bad doesn't mean we're doing badly. Sometimes the cost of getting better is to feel bad. It's not always the way, but it is sometimes the way. And so we have to keep a different marker of success when it comes to therapy, and that is, are we slowly getting closer to our goals? And if we sometimes have a little bit of a setback, we can imagine that when you're practicing a new skill, you are sometimes going to not do the best job at it. But it's the practice that's helping you to get better as opposed to just having a demonstrably better uh, attempt at the thing each time. Sometimes it's going to go well and sometimes it's not going to go well and it's going to take lots of practice for you to get to a place where you can consistently be doing better in whatever behaviors it is that you're wanting to change. But of course the measure needs to be that you're moving closer to your goal overall not just at the moment that you're looking at today. And again, if that particular moment is measured by how you're feeling, that might not be the measure that you want to use to looking at your success overall. So back to our point over here, uh, if you can stay strong in the direction that you've been heading, even despite the pushback that you might be feeling from friends or family, you can just keep slowly edging closer to where you want to be. What's nice is that most friends and family will eventually adapt to your new way of being. And if they don't, then a lot of times the space that they might leave um, because they're too uncomfortable with the differences, that space will be freed up so that people will occupy it who can support you in your growth and in your change. And then you'll notice yourself going right off the charts. So I hope that you get invested in your own growth and healing in whatever way that looks for you and uh, keep on checking even when it feels like you might not be making as fast of progress as you would hope to. You're making progress and that's what we're looking for.